Yeah, Brayden, some time to talk. Okay. okay Brayden's going off right now. Okay. And then. Oh. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for all of your questions. Raven is about to fall asleep, as you can see. Thanks to everyone who gave us questions. Sent their answer. questions, yeah. We have a lot to uh, go through. Um, okay, right. We'll read them. Did you ever collect something as a kid? No, did you, babe? Or you go first? Did I ever collect something as a kid? Like typical Barbies, um, you know, my sisters and I would always play house, so we had a lot of Barbies, baby dolls and stuff, but I remember uh, collecting Pokemon cards as a kid. Like I had a whole binder of Pokemon cards. Uh, I didn't know how to play Pokemon cards. I collected them because they were like pretty and colorful. If I see little kids playing Pokemon, like kids that are younger than me, I would trick them into um, Losing so that they would give me like their best Pokemon card like the pretty one. That's terrible. Yeah Okay, well I collected Pokemon cards too, <laughs> but before that I collected marbles cars like Hot Wheels and Rocks 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 <laughs> Kids. How about you Brave? What do you collect? You collect as a kid. I just collect mom's milk. I collect mom's milk Okay, what's your love language? Okay, it's pretty much how you give and receive love. And my number one, I think, was acts of service. I think after Braven was born, it changed to acts of service. Like when we were long distance, there used to be physical touch. There's five of them in total. There's um, acts of service, which is like serving, doing things for the other person, helping them with something like, they need help with. Yeah, the little thing. Uh, the other one is words of affirmation, like saying, I love you, like hearing it out loud. Then physical touch is like hugs and holding hands, gifts. Gifts. And then the last one. The okay. gifts was a never really one of ours. Quality time. Quality time, yeah. that was always her number two. Uh, I would say right now in like the season we're in, I would say quality time because all I really have when I come home. That's how I receive. And then how I show love is probably... Acts of service. Acts of service, yeah. Helping out when I can. <laughs> coffee, most likely. Can you give me coffee? All right, next question is, what do you like most about your spouse? You go first, though. Just, you know, it can be more than one if you want. This is a hard question. No, I'm just kidding. Just like the little things that you do. At night, before we go to bed, he usually fills up my water bottle and then he will uh, put some diapers and wipes on the bed so that I wouldn't have to get up to reach for it. Yeah, I really appreciate those when he gets me coffee. Right, buddy? Hey, you're good. That's so nice. <laughs> um, I would say, just in the craziness of this season we're in, you don't really have as much time together anymore. And when we do, we're taking care of this little guy. It goes right down to how she shows love to me. And I think, you know, acts of service is a big one. She always, you know, makes sure I have to work for lunch. Um, if there's something, she'll even get out of bed and like yell out the door half asleep. Like, hey, don't forget to bring your lunch. She's like sleeping still, leaving me little love notes in my, in my lunch. And also like little notes of encouragement and, and love on in the bathroom mirror. Uh, just things like that. She's so thoughtful and kind even when she's so busy with this guy. Okay, babe, what are your hobbies together yeah. as a couple? Hobbies? Well, oh my gosh, we're really bad at this now. Before Braven, we usually played a lot of games. Like We played a lot of card games, Monopoly. We used to go eat out a lot. Like We love going to... Yeah. <laughs> I would say we like to... Um, uh, go for walks when we can. Oh, That's yeah. That's always fun. We like, we would go, go outside, get some fresh air. And while I was pregnant, I needed like more walking. So we went for walks after dinner. Oh, yeah. And when we used to live in Medicine Hat, we would go for walks like across the bridge. Yeah. And Rai used to always stop at the donut store. That was so fun. Yeah, that's really fun. Anyways, next one. What's something you guys have always wanted to do? Go for it, love. Always wanted to do. Like that we haven't done before. I always wanted to try um, skydiving or bungee jumping. Shoot, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> skydiving has always been my number one ever since I was born. Alright. 
What's it like being a mom and dad? Oh my gosh, so hard. So hard, but so rewarding. I never really realized how hard and selfless and time consuming it could be until I had driven. No, honestly, it's been amazing being a dad. It's uh, unlike anything you can experience or it doesn't compare to anything. Even though we got married and um, went honeymooning, like it's all just a different experience. You have a baby, like you never really know how it's going to be, but then yeah. here he is and he's a part of the family now and yeah, it's crazy. It's he just up most of our time. Like pretty much all, all, of our time. all of your time all of, all of time. a sudden goes to him, but then he smiles at you and it all just goes away. Yeah. What have you guys learned since being married? Shout out to you know who for all these crazy questions. Being married is like a mirror. It points out, um, aside from pointing things out about each other that you didn't know about, but it also constantly a mirror that um, shows you things about yourself that you didn't know. So you have to navigate through it together but also work on yourself at the same time. It's a good question. I've been trying to think of what I'm going to say the whole time she was talking. Um, I think the biggest thing that I have learned since being married, you learn more about who you are, like I am, who I am and who I don't want to be. Because you get tested in situations where you act out or your character gets tested or how you uh, respond to anger and then after you like lash out or react you're like dang that's not who I want to be but then these kind of things wouldn't have come out if you weren't you know married or in a situation where it would make it come out so it shows you who you are but it also that's good tells you, you um, okay I need to do better he finally fell asleep Yes, okay, well, he's gonna keep sleeping now. This is cool. Um, if you had one million dollars, what would be the first three things you do? We would buy a house and a dream car for me. <laughs> and then travel. I would love to take Raven everywhere as soon as we can. Okay, good answers. So, for me, <laughs> is I would throw probably like $500,000 in, into like a an investment um, so it can grow. I would buy uh, a couple properties and then rent them out so that they're paying for the mortgage and whatever like bills we have, bills like uh, debt, car, like pay that off so we're um, not held down by anything. Just grow the rest either through trading. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be working anymore probably unless I want to. I'd still be working, I think. By choice. We have more babies. Just kidding. Probably. If we each had $3 million, we'd be doing... No, it's $1 million oh, one and three <laughs> things. Who is your celebrity crushes? Careful now. Uh, Chris Evans, Captain America. Oh, Captain America, yeah, me and too. I'm just kidding. Josh Duhamel. Who's, jo who's that? Oh, and Adam Brody. Who's that? This guy. The younger version of him. Well, he's old now, sorry. <laughs> I guess for me, I always liked that girl from uh, 13 Going On 30. Jennifer what was her Garner? name? Yeah, I liked her. Jessica Alba, most likely. Cool. How did you two meet? Your wifey is gorgeous. Oh, let Aww. me tell, let me tell you, let me tell you. He came up to me at our friend's wedding and he was like, Hey, Marilyn, I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name is Rylan. I said, Marilyn? And she yeah. was like, Yeah. I was like, hey. I don't think I've nice met to you. Finally, I don't think we've ever been introduced. No, 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 no. That's what I said. No, no. That is what I said. No, I you were like, I don't think I've met you. Zal, where are you? Zal was there. And then a day after, he added me on Instagram. And then a day after that was Facebook. Yeah, but you messaged uh, me first uh, on both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I may have done the adding, but she did the messaging. Sliding into those DMs, Whatever. you could call it. But I'll tell you where it really started. So shout out to you know who. Shower. One of our good friends, yeah. So I was friends with her best friends even before they were best friends. Um, we just go way back, used to go to church together when we were like kids, kids. And one of them messaged me back in like 2015 and she was like, Hey Rye, have you ever met my friend Marilyn? Question mark, winky face. And I was like, maybe there was no winky face, I don't know. but. You can see it right here. 
And then I was like, oh, you, or like, oh, Char, should I, question mark? And then fast forward almost three years, that's when we met at our friend Allison's wedding, Allison and Max. Thank you for being married, Allison and Max. Which beach are you at? And I'm so happy to see your lives take off. Aw, oh, thanks, bro. That's where we got married. In the... Dominican. In the Dominican Republic, in Punta Cana to be exact. It's a beautiful place. I recommend everyone to get married there. <laughs> so I have this one person pretty much was wondering about if I prefer straight or curly hair three times. Okay. So, I mean, I've had curly hair and straight hair. I used to straighten my hair back in junior high. But your hair is normally My curly. hair is normally wavy, okay, not curly. Um, yeah, I think I would prefer my natural waves over straight hair, not gonna lie. There you go, this guy. Even on Raven's picture, he was like, hey, can you tell your dad I'm wondering about straight and curly hair? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's the best advice you've ever been given? To pray for it, to pray, pray through it, and to pray over it. Best advice you've ever been given is there. Yeah, no one gave me advice on that. <laughs> it was my choice. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, come back to this one, okay? It's a tough one for some reason. Are you guys Christian? Yes. Mm -hmm. We are Christian. But we don't like to... Don't like to what? To like label it. Okay, yeah. what's Braven's middle name? Braven's middle name is... Well, his full name is Braven Zane Faranmi Kabalu. So, Faranmi means... Um, this child is favored and um, oh, and Christian. loved. Yeah, and it was it's a Nigerian name that was given to him by one of our spiritual mentors. And then Bra uh, Braven uh, actually means courageous, means warrior, means leader. Yeah, strong. Actually, Christian being Christian means being Christ-like. So it's okay to be, to be Christian. Hey. I know we're on a different question now, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to redo this one. So that's Braven's middle name. <laughs> Cut. Who came up with the name Braven? I guess I kind of like thought of it, but then I ran it by her right away and she was like, oh, I like that. We, were, we thought we were going to have a girl. Like, I was so sure we were going to have a girl. So I had a lot of girl names picked out, but never really any boy names. Rai. I was sitting on the couch and he was like, I feel like our baby's name has to start has to start with a B or a C. A B or a C. Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, I'm feeling the word Braven. Or I'm feeling the name Braven. And that's how it started. Yeah. And we didn't have like a name name picked out yet until he was born. 